Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, original, authentic, one and only the guy from Pittsburgh, except no cheesy YouTube commentators, <coughs> imposters, trolls, or copyright violators. And it's time again, since I had to buy laundry money, for coin roll hunting as we go through $60 in quarters. Now, maybe I can open these without wrecking the wrapper. I don't know. Try. Bank America, the lady told me in, that they don't give out pre-rolled quarters to customers. They only give out now money from the bank. And one of their stupid policies now, if you want to make a deposit in the branch... You have to fill out a deposit slip. They started doing that about two months ago, and you have to sign it. Dumbest thing I've ever heard of. You can't just hand them cash and they put the money in. I don't know why they make they make you go through more changes to put money in your bank. And of course, you want to draw money, you got to sign a slip to sign it to withdraw money. So it's dumb. All right, now. Okay, I got this one. Hold the way from the edge. Let's see if I can. It's not going to work. I got to go get coin wrappers. I had coin wrappers for flipping the cat, destroyed the computer table. So I'll wind up having to open these and then take, re roll them if I don't need them. All right, there's the first roll. Direct from the bank. All right, and I see these guys get $500 in quarters. They claim to have a ton of silver, and it never I've never done that. So there's the first quarter. Nothing. I think they're full of crap. I think they're liars. I think they solved them. Second. Third. Fourth. Either that or I'm very unlucky with coins. All right, fifth. There's ten dollars. So rather than try to save the wrapper, and I don't care about germs because I have so much sinus problems that uh, germs can't kill me. Almost germs wouldn't survive in my body. All right, currency germs. Sorry about the lighting in here. I gotta plug that light in. I'll eventually get a decent light for this. I'll be doing my iPad, doing the stuff outside of my iPad. If I get that 931 next week, I'll go buy my iPad. Oh, I'd rather use the <coughs> hundred on the pause that I gave to Synchrony Bank. You use that in the forty dollar they gave me. <coughs> well. God, there's 20. Okay. I would open these with a scissor or a box cutter, but since Fluffy destroyed everything, my scissor and box cutter went flying too. Uh, they're in a box somewhere. All right, 30. If I ever found a silver quarter in one of these, I'd be very happy. I don't think it's very likely. Nothing in there. Thirty dollars. And while I was at the bank, give <coughs> me a bank and I'm coughing up mucus since Tuesday. A uh, bank employee was taking rolls out of the box and putting thirty or forty or fifty dollars in rolls and putting rubber band around them. I couldn't figure out what the hell that was all about. Maybe to put them in drawers for the tellers. All right, there's 40. I would be shocked if I got silver ever out of any of these. 
One day I will go in, when I save up half a grand, I'll go buy a whole box of uh, quarters and uh, whatever a box of dimes is, and maybe a box of halves, and then go go wild and buy five hundred dollars in quarters, and I don't know how much how many in you know dime, and I'll have to ask the bank today. All right, that's forty. I'm gonna go mail something off today and put some more money in the bank and send Shiba Muffy and etc. a little bit of money. All right, there is fifty. Kathy's too tired to talk to me. I talked to her. She fell asleep while I was talking to her. Poor thing. All right. Oh, the, the car repair guy said, if you don't have enough money, we can work something out. I forgot to tell her that. I'm telling you. All right. And three more. And finally, 60. I'll see if I have the energy to go to Walmart today. I need cat box liners and toilet paper and 10 cans of fancy feet for my cat. All right. Ten. Whatever is in there. I still think the Fed goes through these and has some device searching for silver. That's why you never find any silver in this stuff. And there we go. 60 more dollars with nothing. Okay, this is George Chen, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day, a great weekend. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be, and stay safe out there, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now. This has been Coin Roll Hunting again. $60 of no silver. Bye-bye.